Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn chapter 14, Thermodynamic. So in this video, we will continue discuss on chapter 14.3, Thermodynamic Work. Okay, so consider a gas contained in a cylinder fit with the movable piston. So when at equilibrium, the gas occupies a volume V and exert a uniform pressure P on a cylinder's wall. If the piston has the cross-sectional area A, the magnitude of the force exacted by the gas on the piston, we can write it as force equals to pressure times the area because we know that the pressure is equal to force over area. Okay, so therefore, force is equal to pressure times the area. Okay, by Newton's third law, the magnitude of the force exacted by the piston is also the same. Okay, so if you refer back to here, when uh, work done, okay, when we say work done, still remember the equations for work done equals to F S cos theta, okay, where F is the forces and S is the displacement, okay. So if we substitute F, okay, uh, just now we already found that P is equal to force over area, so force is equal to pressure times area. So we substitute force equals to pressure times area. So, therefore, area and the displacement actually equals to the changing of the volume as the x is changing. Finally, for work done, our equation will equal to P times V final minus V initial. Okay, so this is the general equation for work done. Okay. On the graph PV graph, the work done is represented by the area and the graph. Okay, so our work done is actually equals to area under PV graph. Okay, so if let's say you want to find, okay, let's say you want to find work done P versus V. Okay, so area under graph is actually our work done. Okay, so next let us go to, there are three types of work done. Okay. For thermodynamic processes, the first one is isochloric process. Okay, so from isochloric process, note that isochloric temperature is constant. Okay, so from the equations of the state of the ideal gas, PV equals to and RT. Okay, so from the equation just now, we can substitute. We can substitute P equals to n R T over volume. Okay, and after that. We will get work done is equal to nRT ln V2 over V1. Okay, so this is the first equation for isotherma. Okay, next one we also can write it as work done equals to nRT ln P initial over P final. Okay, so since it obeys Boyle's law where P1 V1 equals to P2 V2. Okay, so this is the second equation that we can use to find the work done for isotherma. Okay, it depends on what the information you have, whether you have the volume or you have the pressure. Okay, so remember it's V2 minus V1 and for pressure is P1 over P2. The next one is isobaric. Isobaric is the work done in which the change of the volume from V1 to V2 because we know that isobaric P is constant. Okay, P constant or there's no changing of the pressure. So since P is constant, so we can write our work done is equal to P times V final minus V initial. Okay, so this is the equation for isobaric. Okay, last isochloric or isovolumetric. So since isovolumetric or isochloric meaning that the volume is remain unchanged or there's no changing of V. Okay, so when there's no changing of V, meaning that our work done will equal to zero, meaning that there's no expansion, there's no compression, V equals to zero. So when V equals to zero, work done will also equal to zero. Exercise 3 The volume of 1.5 mole 
of an ideal gas at the temperature of 20 degrees Celsius expand isothermally from 3 3 exponent negative 3 meter cube to 18 exponent negative 3 meter cube determine the work done okay so the word isotherma okay we know that isotherma if you want to find work done we have two equation either you use work done equals to nrt ln v2 minus v1 or we can use nrt ln p initial over p final okay so it depends on what are the informations you have okay so since the questions already gave us this is v1 and it expand it become 18 exponent negative 3 so this is v2 so we will use the first equation okay so we substitute work done for isotherma is equals to nrt ln v2 over v1 n is the mole 1.5 R is constant 8.31 Temperature is 20 degrees Celsius Okay, so 20 degrees Celsius we must convert into Kelvin So 20 plus 273.15 ln V2 V2 is 18 exponent negative 3 V1 is 3 exponent negative 3 Okay, so The answer that we will get for the work done is equal to 6547.3 Joule. Next, we go to question number 2. Question number 2. Certain volume of helium gas, the mass is 2.4 gram, is heated so that its temperature increase from the ice point to the steam point. Okay, so meaning that the temperature is from 0 degrees Celsius to 100 degree celsius it expands at a constant pressure meaning that it's isobaric while the temperature increase okay assumes that the gas behave like ideal gas determine the work done by the gas when the steam point is reached okay so this is the case where pressure is constant is isobaric case huh? this is an ideal since this is an isobaric case Therefore, our work done is equal to P constant times the change of the volume. Okay, but here we don't have uh, pressure and we also don't have the volume. Okay, but the question mentioned it is behave like an ideal gas. So we know that PV equals to NRT. Okay, so we can substitute NRT into the equations where the work done is equal to NR times change of the temperature. Okay, so N is the mole where we have the mass is 2.4 gram and the molar mass is 4 gram per mole. Okay, so gram and gram later we can cancel out. R is constant value and the change of the temperature. Okay, so we take final minus initial. Okay, so our answer we will get. So the answer that we will get is equal to 498.6 Joule. Okay, so some student may ask me, do, do we need to change the temperature into Kelvin? Okay, so actually if you want to change into Kelvin, you will also get the same answer because 100 plus 273 becomes 373.15 minus 273.15. Okay, so the changes of the temperature also you will get 100. If let's say you leave it in a degree Celsius, the difference you will get 100. If let's say you want to change it to Kelvin also, you will get the change of the temperature also 100. Okay, so that's all for this video. We will see you on the next video. Continue with question 3 and questions 4. See you on the next video. Bye.